All right, we're back with some more crab champions. Uh, we've got diamond on laser cannons now, and we did do the melee and pacifist run, but I'm kind of curious about the minigun. I was told by you guys that this has escalating shot permanently now. Oh, I can't shoot because <laughs> I turned off all of my, my controls. Okay, we're good now. So this has permanently escalating shot. But it also gets more and more spread as it shoots. So it is new and improved, but it has a lot of issues with it. And hopefully uh, on this run we can kind of experiment and make it better. So I'm going to turn everything back on. There we go. And let's get into it. Let's give it a try. Let's see how if we can still win with the new and improved minigun. Is it improved? Maybe it's... Maybe it's uh, worse. We'll have to find out. Okay, weird. So with a minigun, it doesn't exactly work the exact same way as a normal escalating shot. Because this says, fire rate reduced by 50%, but increases with each shot fired until reloading. But this seems to, like, get faster. But then if I stop shooting... Yeah, see, it's not until reloading, it's until firing again for this gun. Interesting. Totally fine. It is just a little bit wonky. But we'll give it a go. So later on, we're going to want um, all you can eat. We're going to want adding, like, ghost bullets. We're going to want, what else? Probably the thing that adds ammo to your gun. Homing blades, by the way, is disgusting. I don't know what's happening, but everything is just dying. So this gun has its own unique properties with uh, with these escalating shots. Fire shot's great. We'll go for a double upgrade. We might get more escalating shot or another homing blades would be good too. Strapped on homing thorns just means we have to stay away. Pretty straightforward. We would also like to see probably some reduced spread would be good. Because as we can see, when we get like higher fire rate, which will get worse and worse, I imagine, um, we're going to have issues with being able to hit enemies. If I see homing blades, I probably want to take it as the upgrade. We get two of them. So there it is. We did get escalating shot though. Oh man, we can take this homing blades. Let's see. 5% uh, chance for shots that hit enemies to spawn blades. Wait, that's insane. I feel like we have to take both of these. I'm going to take both of them. Is that 15% chance? 13% chance. Go for early shop here. It's a solid start. I'm not sure what these homing blades are going to look like when we have a bunch of them, but... We have oil can. I'm just going to go for a reset here. More goods for sale is great. Let's do that. Okay. Barrel Rain. Have we tried this before? I don't know if we've tried it before. Let's give it a go, though. I see them in the air already. And Mirror Projectiles. These Homing Blades are just killing everything. I don't know if that's a new perk. But it is very good. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. The barrel rain is also very fun. I like it. More big shot. Is this even working for this gun? I don't know. Uh, Fire rate's reduced. What does that do? I'm curious. Fire rate is reduced by 20%. Okay. I mean, escalating shot's kind of going to override, override that anyway. So We'll see how it turns out. We might get rid of it more goods let's invest in the future let's let's get more goods for sale we're, we're okay right now i love a sharp shot though these homing blades are insane i swear this didn't exist before Okay. Ow. 
Yeah, the homing the homing bullets are just destroying everything. Or the blades. Okay, what do we got? Sharp shot, please. Nope. Snake grenade. Oh, I'll reload for uh, knockback. Why not? Let's go for waves. The second the homing blades go off, it's just insane. Like, it just increases my damage tenfold. I do wish that the it worked more for like the reload situation on this gun, but it still feels good with 200 ammo. And I haven't used this gun since like the first diamond uh, I got, which was a long time ago. I think I got it first on the rocket launcher though. Epic chest, what do we get? Ooh, I think we go for streamer loot. Hopefully get higher rarity in general. More shops again. Fire shot wouldn't hurt. What's the percentage on this one? Looks like it's 3% per shot. So yeah, the laser cannons had 2% per fire shot. So it's an even lower proc chance than the minigun. Kind of crazy. So that means that the laser guns have the lowest proc chance in the game. I should die pretty quickly. We don't do a lot of damage though. The fire is doing way more than we are. Ow. Yep, and he's dead. What do we have here? Juice is great. Shots pierced through enemies is interesting, but I think if I go for like glue shot later on or something, it will ruin that. So let's just go for the guaranteed increase. All right, moving on. I see a double. Let's do it. Grab this. Okay. I think it worked. Yeah, I have 100, 288. It didn't make the noise, though. Look at these spinning blades. That's insane. I love that. That's really cool. So is it homing? Is this is homing blades. I don't think they actually home on enemies, though. They kind of just spawn in an area of effect. Collector is great. Damage increase per perk. We don't really have a lot of health, so let's go for speed. Yeah, those are definitely not moving. Which is fine. Or maybe it is moving? Okay, they're, they're, okay, they're traveling to different enemies. I don't understand. I imagine if you get homing blades up to 100%, this this game might like explode. What do we have here? I see escalating shot. We take escalating shot. So that's going to be 3% per shot. Okay, so I can see how this can get pretty crazy pretty fast. Oh my god. Dude, another big... Those are happening more often. The big crystals are crazy. Like, look, look how many they drop. I'm definitely feeling the effect of the 3% increase. We want all you can eat would be great. I will definitely take that. Oh, I got hit. Doesn't really matter though. We are low health. Chance to get an additional reward. I think I'm going to do that. That's pretty great. Um, we'll go for random here. I got to be careful not to actually die. So it seems like the homing blades jump from enemy to enemy. Yeah, I like that. I just saw them jump. Oh, boy. So it's not bad. Okay. Solid. No extra chest, though. Heal after eliminating is pretty good. But I think I want crits. This is a safer bet, though. I think I should probably do this and it'll sell for more later if I want to switch it. Even though I do want the crit. I think the eliminations healing me would be just a good sustainability. Especially considering how low we are. Get 
Goodbye, Grub. Yeah, this gun feels good. I don't know if it feels better than the laser cannons. I think the damage is better. Because I think the laser cannons start at two damage each. There's the glue shot. I know a lot of people said they don't really like the way glue shot works, but I think it's too good to pass up. I think I need to go skill test and hopefully get like bigger magazine. Or I think I think all you can eat can spawn. Oh, ow. I think all you can eat can spawn at skill. Okay. Let's keep our health going. We're we're kind of in a scary position. We don't have a lot of the HP and some things like the big slugs can just one shot you like these guys. These homing blades are insane. Like I don't understand how they're that strong. I guess because we do have three stacks of them, they're doing 150 damage per second. Is that an ice pumpkin? Have I seen that before? I don't think I have. Maybe I have. I love this game. It is just so fun. Okay, we did not get the radius, but I'm going to reduce the spread and recoil. And 140 enemies. I just don't even think that many spawn. Like, I swear to God, this this rush is kind of busted. We could try, but I'd rather get, like, a critical. Because we passed up the sharpshooter earlier. Are you seeing this? The homing blades are carrying... The second my homing blades come out, I just win. And considering it's 13%, we're in a good spot. Uh, hot shot, let's go for sharpshooter. I haven't seen parkour in a while. Okay. Okay, at least the ice one d is different. Because I'm so used to the uh, the first stage and the, the last stage. Always has the same format. This one's actually probably more difficult than the other ones. To get the sub 25 or sub 30, is it? Can't remember. I think it's sub 25. Yeah. Nice. Bomb shot. I think I still, you know, even though bomb shot's really cool, I think getting higher rarity streamer loot is kind of insane. Because look, now we have now we have this in the uh, the shop. We don't have enough money, but getting higher rarities. Coming up more often is probably better. There's the magazine. Let's grab that. We have to buy things again. I forgot about that. Um, Arcane Blast. Sharpshooter's great. Regenerator is not necessary. Is Big Shot even working? I don't know if it's doing anything. I'll grab it. I mean, it could be funny if like, the bullets are huge. It seems to be making them slightly bigger, but I don't think it's actually doing much. Percentage of crystals is great. It's not going to work on the first little bit here, but it will it will matter in the long run, I think. Are you seeing this? Our ammo is now 300, so we can shoot way faster and for longer. Collector is probably the best. Oh, wait a minute. We take aura shot. And silver heart. Okay, yeah. Now we're now we're in business. Visually, this could get messy very quickly. So even if we miss, we're doing four damage on enemies. And you see, their crystal dividends just gave us 160 crystals. Not great now, but it will add up. I think. Fire rate is reduced. I don't know if this is actually doing enough to really warrant it. Plus two damage. I don't think that's great. Shots deal more damage, but damage is dealt over time. That sounds kind of hilarious. I think I'm going to do that just for fun. It's not a great choice. Don't get me wrong. I don't think that's smart. And then why don't we add a fire bolt, a time bolt as well? Uh, 
What is worth getting rid of? I guess the heavy hitter needs to go. I think just shooting like time bullets is funny. Because now we should just like basically melt everything over time. And it doesn't even seem to matter. Time bolt is probably a time shot is probably not great. I think it's stupid. Like it, it, it basically removes your ability to do one shot kills. So if we ever get like perks that do one shot um, additions, we should probably get rid of time shot. This stage always has problems with enemies, and it just died. I think it's stuck in the lava or something. Oh my god! Chance to shoot fireballs. Okay, goodbye, Time Bolt. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. And we'll do Fire Shot. Okay, alright, let's do double damage. I think I should still also get rid of my Time Shot. It's not really doing a whole heck of a lot, so... Now, what's interesting about or uh, glue, I think, is that it delays when the shots come back at you with mirrored projectiles. Drill shots. Nope. I, I think big shots are making our aura bigger. We'll go for drills to spawn. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Uh, randoms fine as well. We need all you can eat really desperately. It will blow this run out of the water the second we get one. I'm probably gonna get rid of time bolt time shot as well. It's not it's kind of reducing our damage. We we probably could kill things a lot faster. But we're forced to wait. I'll increase my glue shot though. Yeah, let's let's drop the time shot. The two bullets the two damage is not worth losing just the instant damage. Cause not only are we delaying our damage with glue, but we're also delaying our damage through our time shot. Yeah, be careful not to lose our or get take a damage here. Oh, and I say that and we just got hit. Oh, we got the epic chest anyway, so that was actually perfect timing. Grim Reaper, streamer loot. Yeah, we're doing streamer loot. Let's take you, get a free bronze heart. Do I go for it? Wow. All that just to lose half my HP. Is there a chest in here? I, I missed a chest in one of the last runs. I can't remember which one it was, but I... I think I, lo I missed it. Uh, no. Let's go for a flawless elemental horde here. The healing after eliminating enemies is great. Like, we lost half our HP. We've almost gained a quarter of my HP back. Got to also make sure not to hit the uh, the lava because I'm pretty sure that counts as losing your flawless now. We should have the flawless here, hopefully. Nice. What do we have here? Hot steam is the best option. Ice shot ruins our fire, so it's not great. I think... Ooh. 9% chance, but each time getting more stacks is probably wise. Let's grab it. Go for an upgrade here. Hopefully we get homing blades. That could be that could be insane, too. Like, nearly 20% chance, and we get 200 damage per second. 
You can definitely tell that taking off time shot has improved our damage. Our instant damage, at least. The blades are just melting everything. This should hit these guys, right? Oh, yep. There you go. The crystal dividends are, are starting to work in my favor more and more. That is not a legendary. Grip tape. How's the spread? Pretty bad later on. Okay, I'm going to grab another one of these. Go for waves. The spread might help me in my like be in my favor though, because it helps me just like kind of just spray and pray a little bit. Whereas if it's super accurate, I have to be perfectly accurate to shoot things. Oh, I got hit! Dang. Well, it doesn't even matter. Let's go for a higher chance to get a double reward, and we're good. Let's go for a shot. Uh, gain crystals could be good. You know what? Isn't that just good? Because then I can just buy this for free. Maybe I'll hold off. Let's buy this. Collector's good. Okay. More goods for sale next time. Bigger mag is great. Fire shot. Crystal dividends is great as well. And it did blow up so we can buy this and then we go for bronze heart which mostly heals us oh my, how did i not see this before all you can eat okay here we go i almost trolled well this boss will probably last very little time ouch Yep, there's one down. And there's two down. <laughs> you know what's really great about this? Is that we have escalating shot very early into the run. The last time we got it with the laser cannons, we got it at the very end of the run. The last, like, three levels. But here, we're getting it very early so we can build upon the escalating shot and do more with it. I'm hoping to see more escalating shots. But now with um, all you can eat, we can basically fire forever. As long as we get a couple more stacks, most likely. Enemies explode when eliminated is great. But I think just having like a million square shots going off. There's the square shots. Yeah, I think that's cool. Let's let's loop. One day I'm going to do a an endurance run and just go as long as I can. And see, see what it's like to go like wave 150 or something. I feel like I would need to dedicate a whole day just to play this game. If the run gets too strong. None of these are great. This would have been really good for the... Uh, oh, the cooldowns are increased. It's not great, actually. Never mind. Um, Sure. I'm probably going to get rid of Sonic Boom at some point. Yeah, this is pretty fun. I mean, we have all you can eat, but Big Mag doesn't hurt. We have 500 bullets now. We are shooting so many fireballs. This, this is very strong. More all you can eat. Oh, man. I think we can do the all you can eat. Lasting for four seconds is just better. Go for a shop. What do we have here? Uh, Big Mag. Do I want to reduce my HP to by 50%? I don't know if I want to do that. 
Enemies create short-lived damaging zones. That sounds fun, but not what we're really going for on this run. Supercharged is hilarious. Yeah, let's do that. My god. Go for a random chest. I don't have enough money for the shop, and I'd rather not lose the chance to get more hilarious modifications that add to the, n the mess that this is. Imagine you get rocket launchers to shoot this fast. It would take a long time to shoot fast enough. Oh my god, my frames. I'm killing everything. Supercharged! Okay, sure. <laughs> What's the chance to shoot a fireball? 5% chance! And that was just like firing every like 0 0.1 seconds. Okay. Rush. If I can't win a rush with this setup, then rush is busted. I'm sorry, but that's that's just a fact. This guy's shielded. He was shielded. Man, Minigun is so much more fun now. Oops. I'm almost dead. I gotta be careful. I wonder if it's capping out the fire rate. I can't tell. I think it is. It's still very fun, though. Ah, glue shot's fine. Ooh, greed could be huge. Fire crab could actually kill me here. I gotta be really careful. But surely he dies around this corner. Okay, he's actually pretty resist. He, he resists pretty, uh, pretty good. I'm kind of scared. Get a lot of stacks too. Got two greeds. Gain crystals when dealing damage, but lose crystals when taking damage. This is perfect. Get two of them. Um. Let's do this. Double-edged sword. We have another greed chest. Let's go for it. This is going to go hard with the crystals. Look at my crystals increasing in the top left. I think we've won crab champions. I just lost a ton of crystals because I got hit, but we've already gained it back. The game doesn't even know how to calculate things. It's, it, I don't think it's healing me every time I'm killing something, which it's supposed to. Unless there's a cooldown. I'll, I'll check it after this, this wave. All I want now is like a zombies mode for this game. Like, the, the survival thing that they have as one of the minigames isn't quite what I want. I want, like, an actual, like, survival, like, keep the horde out. What is the, What was I looking for? The Grim Reaper, right? Yeah, it is a one-second cooldown. Okay, that makes sense. Damage increase, but more enemies spawn. 
That also sounds hilarious. Let's do it. And another double-edged sword. Oh my god. Now what we really need to do is, is make ourselves sustainable. So we need to find ways to heal and uh, make ourselves stronger. Grab every silver heart we see. Unfortunately, that broke, so we're not going to be able to get too many items here. Uh, that might like just destroy my game. I, I'm kind of scared to do that for frames, so I'm just going to avoid that. Okay, the boss is dead. That boss is dead. Oh. And that boss is dead. We're getting 30,000 crystals for the dividends. This is why I'm saying that like later on, this the dividends will definitely pay off. Oh, man. I think we go all you can eat. It's just good to have the huge delay on my ammo starting to deplete, so... Just do this, and we should just win. Yeah, we won. What do you have for me? More aura shot? Why not? More greed? Maybe another all uh, double-edged sword? The fire stacks are just going off. Oh, the ice slug made it to me. It's kind of a surprise. Can I hit that slug from there? Oh my god, why did he fly at me like that? Dividends are giving us 56,000 now. Double-edged sword again! <laughs> Gain crystals worth 75% of damage, but lose 50% of your crystals when you get take damage. Okay. So I gotta be really careful not to lose uh, my crystals by taking damage. I gotta be really careful. I've made... I've made my crystal gaining, like, crazy good, but also crystal, like, loss is just through the roof. This is not a fun stage. I mean, it is, but it's not. Okay, a little spooky. We didn't lose our crystals. I shots deal more damage for each bullet remaining in the magazine. Uh, yeah, I think I will. Uh, I think I'll do that. And it's only to the first hundred bullets, so four percent per bullet. So this is gonna be just crazy damage, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that is. Cause I'm just always gonna have more than hundred bullets remaining in the magazine. That just blew the, the the run wide open even even more. <laughs> Was that 135,000 crystals for the dividends? I see the chest up there. I didn't miss it. Um, fire auras, whatever. Homing blades. Yes. Okay. Let's go grab this. What do you got in here for me? Shots are faster and l faster and less affected by gravity. Sure, why not? The big shots kind of. Getting counteracted by that now, so that's good. Uh, elemental. So our homing blades are up to 17% chance. Very nice. I don't even know what I'm shooting at. I'm just, I'm just firing. Yep. Hello? Enemies? There you are. Just a casual almost 200,000 from the dividends. More fire stacks. We don't need money. Now 
And what we need to do now is make it so we can buy or use the, the reroll as much as we can. Because we, we are good on money. Okay. We got poison, but that doesn't count as taking damage, luckily, so we're okay. Uh, yeah, escalating shot. I think we're going to do that. More fire shot. XL. Triple the amount of enemies. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. I'll try it. Because it sounds funny. The barrel rain is kind of spooky. What? <laughs> no way, I got sniped. Did I go 100 to zero? We get a replay on that? I think I just like, I got 100, 100 to zeroed. I mean, that's a better way to lose this or end the run anyway. I, I wasn't going to get diamond because I already have diamond. Uh, that That is, um... That is the new and improved minigun. I think that's a lot of fun. Uh, we've completely diamonded this entire side. Uh, we have to do dual shotguns, dual pistols, auto shotgun, burst pistol. And then I think, yeah, just the seagull as well. So we've got one, two, three, four, five left to go. Not too bad. We're emerald right now. Um, next run will probably be the run that will get us to ruby potentially. Maybe not because we have five left. But hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that's a lot of experimenting so far. I think that we're going to go back into the diamond runs next. Let me know you guys, what, which gun you guys, you guys want to see next. I might record, I might probably record the next one by the time you guys suggest the next one. Because I'm quite ahead on videos for channel 2. But either way, let me know what you guys want to see. I think I might run some, uh, dual shotguns to get them out of the way. Because it's pretty, pretty horrible. Yeah. See you in the next one. Peace.